we have the 12 steps program i live by it and um it, it, it helps it helps me on a daily basis it's not like that once you've done it uh you're done you're cured no like for example if you're diabetic you can't have too much carb carbs you know you gotta regulate your insulin so you gotta maintain things so like that you also maintain your recovery there's no middle ground either you progress or you decline so um i started um abusing drugs and alcohol at a very young age like i was exposed to alcohol uh, when i was uh, eight years old and um it was curiosity at first then uh, it turned into a habit then dependency by the age of 11 i had issues with my liver and i had to quit like i had to stop or it's gonna, it was gonna be fatal so um then i started smoking pot and it started a chain of events and incidents in my life and you know this is the part where i was abusing drugs and alcohol but there were some underlying things too i had i was going through traumas i was going through domestic violences i was going through other things in life that i just you know couldn't accept and i needed to escape my reality i needed to get out of this so um, the easiest way was to get intoxicated to get drunk but uh, fast forward um by the time i was 16, 17, um, I was, uh, you cannot name a drug I haven't tried. You cannot. And it seems like fun. When you listen to it, it seems like fun, but it wasn't fun. I was suffering the whole time. And, um, you know, subconsciously, I was looking for a way out. And I even tried to kill myself several times because I just couldn't bear it. Because it, it was an endless loop, you know, you wake up, you score, you use, you get high, repeat until you fall asleep. And it just kept on going. That was a cycle. I couldn't break it. It was like I was uh, in my own made prison. So um, I was looking for a way out. And there was this one night I was uh, very high very drunk and I was on my balcony and I was um, I was crying you know I was I just couldn't find peace I didn't have contentment inside me no matter what I did no matter how much I used how much I drank um, no contentment so um, I asked that whoever you are out there can you just relieve me from this pain I asked, and um, a few months later, I came into recovery. I came into recovery. Maybe uh, I was dragged into a rehabilitation center, but it happened. It happened, and uh, from there, I started my journey on. So uh, today, I'm grateful. I'm grateful even being an addict because uh, it changed my life in ways I couldn't uh, imagine. It's a disease. Addiction is a disease, but it's a spiritual disease, which I believe. It's, uh, it doesn't have uh, physical treatment, neither mental. Either you grow spiritually or you deprive yourself of spirituality. That's what I believe. Thank you.